In this video, I'm going to tell you the six predators that can attack your farm and the ways that you can control these predators from attacking your farm and also the best way of how you can construct the poultry house that can be predator proof so that any predator cannot be able to enter your farm. The number six one of the predator will really amaze you. So make sure you stick around up to the end. Whenever there is a predator, there is a prey. Here in Kenya, KWS told us that whenever you encounter yourself with a hyena, that you can talk to it so that it cannot be able to munch you or eat you whole whole. For example, how will you be able to talk to a hyena? And all of us know that the hyena is associated with greed. How will you be able to talk with a hyena? If it was for you, can you talk with a hyena so that it cannot be able to eat you up? Is that realistic? So let's get to the video. So we are going to talk about the predators and the prey. The predator becoming those things that can come and eat your flock and the prey becoming the chicken and also the eggs and the chicks on your farm. Our first predator is the snake. How can you be able to manage snakes on your farm? You know, all over the world, it doesn't depend with your mythology. All over the world, even the Bible, the Greek mythology, they usually talk about the snakes and how the snakes usually make people fear the snakes. So the snake is one predator that can really attack your farm. And these snakes are attracted to eggs and small chicks. And you know, when I was young, there was this story whereby our grandfather usually told us, you are going there in the bush, then we are getting some termites. So he usually told us that one day we will end up encountering a snake because the snakes usually like to eat the termites. You know, these termites, I will post a photo here of termites and how the termites usually look like. So they usually told us that if you go down there into the bush, you will find out that the snakes usually like the termites so much. So it's like whereby the snakes also like small chicks and also like the taste of the eggs. So how will you be able to control snakes on your farm? If you want to control snakes on your farm, make sure you have constructed your house using brick. Like for example, over here on the floor all around the house, I have used bricks so that it cannot enable the snake to come and enter into the poultry house easily. And over on the wall, I have used this iron sheet. And also, also over here, you can see I have used mesh. But this mesh looks very wide. The snake can be able to pass through it because this, this wire mesh looks very wide. But I have a tarpaulin over here, this tarpaulin. I usually drop this tarpaulin, then I tie it using this nail. So that enables that there is no any penetration for the snake to enter into your poultry house. Because you know, snakes, most people around the world really fear snakes. So, and also let me take you into the poultry house so that you can be able to make sure that your poultry house is snake proof. So this is the poultry house. It is a bit short, but I'll just explain further. So this is how the poultry house should look like. As you can see, on this under end, I have really made it up to the top so that it cannot allow any type of animal to get into it. And also, as you can see over here, I have used this rug so that I can close any penetration whereby you can find that snakes can try and penetrate into your poultry house. And also, the other thing that I, you have to do, if you, ha you live in an area that is prevalent with snakes, make sure you're using used oil, then you pour it around your poultry house. That will discourage the snakes from coming into your poultry house. And another solution for snakes on your farm, you can use a cart. You, if you have a cart on your farm, make sure you are feeding your cart very well. After you have fed your cart very well, then the cart will be able to scare away the snakes because the snakes are always fearful of the cats on a farm. So that is another benefit of having a cart. And that is, a, that is another way of being able to scare away snakes from your farm. The second predator is the possum. The possum usually like to come at night and they really like the meat of the chicken. You know, one time back then, I had a possum that was coming from the bush. Let me go and show you. The possum came at night and it came through that end over here. Let me take you. Do you see over here? Over here. I had not cut this bush. Even this bush has become big. I need to cut it. This, the, the possum came over here. Then it tried to enter my poultry house over this can you see this penetration over here? Up there. That possum tried to enter my poultry farm through that, that area. And I realized that possums can try to enter your farm if there's a lot of bush near your area. And they come at night, then they can 
attack your chicken because during the night you are asleep so you won't be able to know if anything is happening to your chicken you can just hearing the clackering of the chicken maybe you just think that the chicken maybe there is they are startled by themselves but they are being startled by the possum that comes at night and when we saw it we tried to throw it was very very fast and then it just disappeared into the bushes this this bush over here on the back end over there they were so big but then we realized that that attracts possum so we had to to cut down the bushes so that we cannot attract any more possums on our farm the third predator is known as the birds of prey the birds of prey we have the hawks we have the cross we have the eagles you know for example if you have very young chicks and you let them outside and if they are not well protected from the birds of prey your chicks will be eaten and how will you be able to prevent such an incident on your farm if you have encountered birds of prey trying to prey on your chicks make sure this is just a simple way make sure you are keeping your chicks in the house don't let your chicks outside because if you let them outside the hawks will enjoy the meat of your chicks that is the another thing that you have just to really know and that is the an easy solution to that problem our number four predator is known as the coyotes the wild dogs the mongoose or the wolves these usually attack mature chicken and they can come at any moment if you are living in a bushy area for example if you have a farm and you have set it down there in the village deep in the village and it is in a bushy area these can attract those animals onto your farm and they will be able to munch your chicken very finely if you haven't constructed your poultry farm very well for example if you are doing free range poultry farming and yet you haven't put a fence like for example a chain link around your poultry farm and also you have constructed a brick wall maybe you have just kept the barbed wire if you have kept the barbed wire the mongoose the wild dogs they can just enter into your poultry farm and enjoy your chicken so that is another way so the best thing you can do if you have set your farm down there down in the village you just have to fence your farm properly after you have fenced your farm properly this will enable your chicken to be safe even if you are doing free range farming the dogs won't be able to enter into your poultry farm and munch all your investment away number five is the cats it seems very funny when i talk about the cats yes the cats once upon a time back then in 2020 all these things have really happened to me i think very many bad things have really happened to me in 2020 i had this very funny cat on my farm this cat i usually kept it on my farm so that it can try and scare away snakes but the cat was not trying to scare away snake what the cat did whenever i come with day old chicks then i put the day old chicks in a place then maybe i go outside to do some other chores when i usually came back i usually found that this chick has only killed those baby chicks so it really puzzled me does this cat want to really eat the chicks or this cat just wanted to play with the chicks because i usually found out if there were a box a carton contained like 50 chicks you can end up finding out that the cat has eaten like 20 to 30 it just cuts and eats the legs and leaves the rest of the body you see so that is another thing and that realized that if you have a cat on your farm and maybe it was not well fed and also it can just be the character of the cat so if you have such a cat on your farm make sure you get rid of it just take it put it in a gunny bag then go throw it very far away from your home so that it cannot be able to come back don't kill it just take it then put it in a gunny bag then make sure you have crossed two rivers that is how my grandmother usually told me that if you do want to get rid of a cat make sure that you go very deep down in the village after you have crossed like two to three rivers then you throw it over there so it will just wander there then it will become a wild cat so it will just survive on its own it is better that way because if you leave it on your farm it will cause a lot of problems and also that is the only solution for that problem discarding the cat and also for the fencing for for this area for the wire mesh make sure you are putting good wire mesh like not like these of mine but i have put this because the chickens that are in this house they are bigger in size but if you are keeping the chicks make sure you are putting this wire mesh then you are putting the chicken wire the smaller one like a half an inch very small so that it cannot enable the snakes and also the cats to enter into your poultry farm so we will head to number six our last predator the dogs yes the dogs the greatest friend to a man the loyal friends to a man 
the dogs yes you can have a dog that likes to eat chicken yes like on my farm hey all these things have really happened to me all these bad things have really happened to me so i had a neighbor's dog and i have i hadn't fenced my farm very well so i just kept the barbed wire this neighbor's dog was not being fed very well so the neighbor's dog was very hungry all the time so i had this poultry house whereby i had not put a proper door on the poultry house since i was just starting back then in 2019 i had not put the door very well so the dog usually came at night in the evening like 7 pm in the evening then it will just enter into my poultry coop and snatch away a chick and then it will run with it then after it has finished then it will come back do you see that and even if after the chicks were like one month old then i will let them outside you will find out that this dog usually try and hunt them and try to catch those smaller chicks and eat them up and how will you be able to come up with a solution to such a problem because it is not your dog it is your neighbor's dog the only solution that you can come up with this is by trying to fence your poultry farm very well because you know dogs usually dry and dig down you see but if you have fenced your poultry farm very well the dogs will have a rough time when they try to come and try to dig so that they can be able to steal your chicks because if they try to dig and then you find them while they are digging then you hit them that is the only solution because a dog is very funny you try to hit it out so that it cannot try to come back then it will be scared it won't be able to come back into that place so that is the only solution fencing your poultry farm very well then constructing a poultry house that is predator proof as i have showed you so those are the six predators that can really attack your farm those are the main predators that can attack your farm and those are the solutions to those problems we have the snakes we have the possums we have the birds of prey we have the wild dogs we have the cats and also we have the dogs so guys make sure you take those into consideration and like and subscribe to the channel for those that want to know how to construct a better poultry house a cheaper poultry house make sure you click up here